Pittsburgh routinely cheer for the Steelers, Pirates, and Penguins. But this crowd here, they're giving it up for the Pittsburgh Hurt. That's the women's skating team for the Steel City Roller Derby. But what we're going to do is we're going to sit here and we're going to watch them do their thing while they explain their passion for speed and physicality. They go by the name of Steel Hurtin' and they love flaunting their wheel rolling swag. This is the A team for Steel City Roller Derby. They're skating against a team from Boston and each team has a jammer who tries to break through the pack and get past as many opposing skaters as possible to ring up points. So they use speed, some agility, and physicality. Pretty exciting. You think it's exciting, huh? Yes. We're ready to see blood. <laughs> it's just exciting because you know that no matter what, something new will happen. Like watching Hurricane Heather slither through the pack as a jammer. Or number 32, Rock Hard Candy, pounding and grinding her way through opponents in one instant, only to use some agility to beat an opposing skater a few seconds later. So we go from wheels to heels to meet these women. Tapping into their passion for action, Tara Zirkel is the director of admissions for CCAC and doctoral candidate at IUP. Jamie Fargo is an attorney at Rice Energy. Whenever you started playing roller derby, what was the reaction of folks? Uh, I think my mom still thinks I'm crazy. But apparently, crazy is good at roller derby matches. What turns you on about being a roller derby player? I mean, I What's like to hit people. You like to hit people? <laughs> I like to knock people down. Oh, it's, it's so much fun. Um, you know, getting to hit people. <laughs> And even being being hit, kind of flying through the air sometimes. You learn a lot about different people. Uh, you learn things outside of the sports aspect of it. You learn how to run a business. Uh, we are a nonprofit organization. I'm the treasurer of that. So you learn a lot of really good uh, marketable and professional skills. Steel City Roller Derby is nonprofit. Even with more than 20 sponsors, these women must raise $10,000 a year for their operating budget, which includes away matches. They draw about 300 fans for home matches at Romp and Roll in Glenshaw. Skaters must go through a boot camp and then audition to make the team. All the way. Jennifer Gaskin goes by snot on skates. She's the ringleader and one of the smallest skaters in the league. My size, which is fairly small for derby, uh -huh. to, um, you know, 6'5", 300 pounds. But you have to be able to hit people. You have to be able to take hits. You have to be able to stop someone from getting by you. So the women of Steel Hurton put me on some skates. They're giving me a taste of their skill and physicality. They take pride in representing Pittsburgh at home and away matches, showing off a unique athletic team sport for women. Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.